for sending us your questions for Brenda Hollingsworth. Live phone calls on the air, 613-79-6559, extension 2803, ottawa.morning at ctv.ca or Facebook, CTV Ottawa Morning Live, and ask what you will. And Melissa's been telling us and warning us all morning about that uh, heavy weather that's coming our way Tuesday night into Wednesday. So it seems fitting to have Brenda in to talk about our responsibilities during the cold weather months. Yeah, there's a lot of bad things that can go wrong in December with uh, with the weather and accidents. So it's a good time to remind everybody what uh, they need to do to be ready. Okay, where do you want to start? You want to start on the road or as a pedestrian? Well, let, let's start with what homeowners need to do. Okay, so, so to protect good. the pedestrians in your life All at right. home. All right, so I have a uh, snow blowing clearing service and I think to myself, got it covered. Right. So you, it is very important that you have a look at what is covered by your contract. Okay, they'll Be come at five centimeters. Right. So you are a homeowner, and sometimes five centimeters doesn't fall. That's Often true. it's two centimeters or three centimeters, or it may not be five centimeters where they are measuring, but it's five centimeters where you are. Okay. So you are the homeowner. You are the owner-occupier of the property. You are still responsible to make sure it's safe. So even if you've contracted that out, you still have a responsibility for what's not included in your contract. Wow, okay. So make sure you know. A lot of people don't know there's a minimum snowfall before their, their, their guy will come. The other thing about that is when you do get the smaller amounts, they tend to turn to ice quicker. Sure. Like, and it, if it coats over top of a small amount of ice, that is super slick, unbelievably slippery. Right. People look and they think it's, oh, it's snow. I can walk on that. Gone. Can you tell me about my responsibility of for my property? What do I need to keep in mind for that? Yeah, well, I mean, there is no set standard, right? For example, there isn't a statute that says it has to be bare pavement. Okay. It's just it has to be reasonably safe, okay. right? What a, what a prudent homeowner would, would have. Mm -hmm. So in Ottawa, um, you know, there's going to be some snow, and perfection is not required. So every time somebody slips and falls, they don't have somebody to sue because, you know, in the minute it starts snowing, you're not necessarily having to be out there, okay. but you have to be reasonable. So okay. to me, I think reasonable means the snow is cleared and that there's some kind of grit applied, whether it's salt or sand. Okay, so or and, both. And, and, or both, and, and those are always a good idea for both mixtures. Um, the other thing is, you may have your driveway cleared, no problem, but we're talking usually about pedestrians on your property. Yeah, right. I mean, the car's unlikely to have an accident in your driveway, <laughs> right. but people getting out of the car or the mail carriers or what have you coming up, people coming up to knock on your door, even if they're not your guests, even if they're strangers. Even Uninvited. If, that's right. People trying to sell you something who you actually don't want on your property. Uh, there are actually old cases about robbers. Oh, I've right, heard about injured, that. You know, oh, man. so you have, you have yeah. a good luck with that lawsuit. Yeah, exactly. But you have a responsibility to let anybody who could potentially come on your property be safe. Okay, so yeah. and within there's always, which is nice, a within reason kind of thing, right? right? That's right. Okay, so uh, I think for me, I like to make sure that it's cleared within two hours of the fall of snowfall, right, and salted. So right, you know, that gives a, a pretty. I mean, that's pretty reasonable. Everybody's got about that amount of time. Right. So you, you have to be aware also of places in your property that are tricky like none all of us have sort of dips in our uh walkways where water collects on the, on the walkway too yeah you wouldn't see that and you could trip that's right so you need to be aware and pay special attention for example if your downspout sort of goes to a certain area and you know that water pools there mm -hmm. it's pulled there for years if that's a trouble spot you make sure that you Put extra attention towards that. And within the time period, or um, w within the contract, I have a contract with a company that says, it, you know, and I get a ten centimeter fall, and they don't clear it, and an accident happens. Is that on them? If it's within contract, contract, do they bear some responsibility? Well, definitely. When I'm suing people where there's slip and fall, I typically sue the owner, and if I know there's a contractor, mm -hmm. I'll sue the contractor too. Okay. If I don't know there's a contractor then your lawyer will probably add the contractor into the lawsuit. So they'll be there. Okay. You know, one way or the other, they'll be there. So they do take on a, a bit of responsibility as well. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, we uh, we sue a lot of snow removal contractors. Yeah. And surprisingly, we're having trouble getting someone to remove snow from our property. Right, not yeah. a surprise there. Yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah. well, that's the risk of the job. Yeah, exactly. AskBrenda.ca is uh, how you get a hold of, uh, of Brenda and, uh, and Richard as well. It's OJ Hollingsworth. 
here for Ask the Expert. Phone 613-233-4LAW. Email info at ottawalawfirm.ca or on the web, askbrenda.ca, as I mentioned, is a great way. And we'll take your questions if you have and Just jump on Facebook and share with us. If not, uh, we'll be back to talk about the roadways and things you need to keep in mind as we see some serious snow coming our way tomorrow night. We're back in a moment on CTV Morning Live, 934.